would you describe your approach to defending Curry? What did you tell your team going into this game? Just had to be aware. Um, we can't be surprised when he shoots, you know, five or six feet behind the three-point line. You know, he can make those shots. Um, he does it consistently. So we just always got to be aware. And he has a quick trigger, and he'll shoot it from anywhere. So I thought a few times we, we let our guards down, and we, wasn't, we, we got caught by surprise because he shot it five feet behind the three-point line. So just locking into him and um, being more aware of him and Clay. Next question right over here. Paul, I'm from Law Sports China. Hello, Coach. Uh, now you have um, won two games in a row against Golden State. We know it's hard to win a game in the finals, and you have proved you, you, you guys can win on the court. So do you think you have built greater uh, momentum into the championship run? I just thought, you know, we stuck with our game plan, you know, being aggressive and phys physical defensively, and I thought being aggressive offensively of attacking. I thought we, um, in the second quarter, we got away from it. We, we kind of slowed the ball down in the second quarter, which made us stagnant and um, made us get some shot clock violations, getting late to the shot clock. But, you know, for the most part, I thought we did a great job of just continuing to attack in transition in the half court and make them guard us. Chris, back left. Chris Broussard, ESPN. Ty. Can you talk about your decision to put the ball primarily in LeBron's hands and what that does for your team? Well, it does a lot. You know, um, Kyrie, you know, is special, and he can score the basketball at will and also make the right pass and right play. And then, you know, down the stretch, we decided to put the ball in LeBron's hand, let him facilitate, get, get guys open shots because we had a lot of shooting on the perimeter, and that opened up the floor for LeBron to get, get into the paint, score some, and also distribute. Right here in the front. Hi, Ray Jasky, ESPN 990. Uh, including the first two games of this series, two bad losses, 0-7 against the Warriors, and now three out of four, kind of a total reversal of fortunes, 30-point win, 15. Today was really a 20-point win. Um, what do you attribute this whole thing to, this, this total, including the win on the road that, uh, and now you go back there. Uh, how, do you, how do you just uh, account for all of this, this kind of a turnaround? Just our, our guys fight and our determination and never want to give in. You know, we had, you know, two shaky games in Golden State to start the series. And, you know, you can always prepare for them, but until you get, in, you know, in between those lines and see how fast they move, how hard they cut, you know, how hard they play, you really can't get a gauge for it. So I thought game one was, you know, was that test for us. And then game two, you know, just kind of got away from us. But, you know, this team has been fighting all season. Um, we've been through a lot of adversity, even though, um, during the playoffs, we started off 10-0. Um, we still have been through a lot of adversity this year, this season. And our guys are fighters. And they just kept fighting, continue to do the right things, and continue to ex execute the game plan. And that's attack. Next row back. Uh, Ken Miller calling post. Coach, what have you learned about yourself as a coach in this series that you didn't know about yourself already? And is there any one guy that you were with throughout your career that you can attribute this calmness to your demeanor uh, with this basketball club? Well, everything I do is, you know, is Doc Rivers driven. You know, he taught me everything um, as far as being a coach, you know, giving me my first chance, you know, to coach. But just the poise from, you know, my first three seasons of being in L.A. with Phil Jackson and just saw how he, you know, in practice, he's teaching, he's coaching, he's on the floor. But when the game started, he was always poised and um, he let the guys figure it out. And I think, um, you know, that, that meant a lot to me just seeing that, you know, because, you know, as players, if you're sitting on the bench and you hear coaches, you know, talking about certain players on the floor or getting mad and getting upset, they, you know, you realize they say the same thing about you when you go in the game. So I just think it's, you know, important to stay poised. You know, guys are going to make mistakes as part of the game, but, you know, the effort, um, that can always be there, you know, the um, unselfishness that can always be there. So I just attribute the calmness, you know, you know, Phil Jackson and just seeing as a player what works and what doesn't. Kenny, back left. Ty, Kenny, Rota, WHBC Radio. Each game that you've won, there's been that third score with the exception of last game when they went off for 82. But tonight it was Tristan Thompson. What's it mean to you? your team when, when that third scorer helps carry the load? Well, it means a lot, you know, and I thought JR gave us a good good bump also. And, um, you know, Kyrie and LeBron were special. Um, Kevin came out with the right mindset, just got two early fouls and could never get in a rhythm. You know, I thought he, he made a big three for us, um, some good switches and some post-ups that he was aggressive on, got fouled, but he could never quite find his rhythm after he got those two early fouls. But, 
you know, we get, you know, the third and the fourth score to step up, you know, we're really hard to beat because we know two of the big three are going to play good every night. Having said that, 41 and 41 in back-to-back -back games for LeBron. How do you describe that? Just LeBron, LeBron being LeBron. You know, um, he's one of the greatest of all times. And, um, you know, our back was against the wall, and he took it upon himself in the last couple of games, himself and Kyrie, to really, you know, put this team on their backs and, and really, you know, get us, to, get us to where we're trying to get to. And that's a game seven in Golden State. Over here, Chris. Uh, Chris Parker, Cleveland scene. Coach. And jumping on Kenny's question, uh, Tristan played really well, not just on the boards, but it seemed that he was rolling to the basket and finding open spaces and, and getting into positions where people could find him. Could you talk about that part of his game? Well, the last you know, few days, we've really been working on getting to the right spots because they do a great job of protecting the elbows and boxes and, and loading up. So we really, the last two or three days, we really have focused in on Tristan being in the right spots because he's very important to what we're trying to do. And defensively, being able to switch one through five with him is great for us. So we need him on the floor. And I thought tonight, he really got to his spots and he really was in the right position every night. And LeBron and those guys could find him when he was open.